Hello everybody, welcome to Healthcare Sucks. And we are here today to give thanks and hear the President give out Medal of Honor to Green Beret, Master Sergeant Matthew Williams. And I'm going to let you listen to a little of his speech and then I'm going to tell you my part. But in this time... With what's going on over there, and what's going on over here, with the outrageous, ridiculous Democrat impeachment, and this, and that, and uh, it's goings on. This is just ridiculous. I got some other things I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. I heard from another truther, and... You might be amazed. So stay tuned for the end of this. But let's listen to our president give thanks. I'll be running for office, but someday I know, huh? I'll tell you. Boy, I'll tell you what. Here's my vote. <laughs> Have a brave politician for a change, right? That's great. Nice to see you, David. Thank you very much. And Salvatore Ginta. Thank you, Salvatore. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Matt Williams grew up in the small town of Birney, Texas, very small town. He met Kate for the first time in elementary school. In college, he planned to pursue a career in law enforcement. But after 9-11, Matt decided his place was on the front lines of the war on terror. He wanted to be the best of the best. He worked so hard at it. So after graduation, he enlisted in the Army to become a Green Beret. Matt finished his Special Forces training in August 2007 and deployed to Afghanistan by October. On April 6, 2008, he joined dozens of American Special Forces and Afghan commandos on a mission to take down a terrorist leader in a remote mountain village. Sounded simple, not simple. On that cold spring morning, the soldiers arrived in helicopters and jumped 10 feet from the Chinooks into the rocky and freezing terrain of Shock Valley. When the first Americans reached the edge of the valley, at the base of a 100-foot mountain, a handful of special forces scouted ahead. The lead group was 60 feet up the slope when roughly 200 insurgents savagely attacked and it was a big surprise, very unwelcome surprise, I might add. The terrorists filled the valley with a hail of bullets and explosions. Matt soon received word that the soldiers on the mountain were pinned down and suffering from mounting casualties. He organized the Afghan infantry under his command and he led a bold counter assault to stop the enemy advance. As machine gun fire rained down from above, Matt and his fellow American soldiers, Scott Ford and Ronald Scherer, charged up the mountain. Once they reached their trapped comrades, Matt realized that several of them were too gravely wounded to be quickly evacuated. He ran down the mountain to get support and then climbed back up with bullets spraying all around. Not a good place to be. Again and again, Matt exchanged fire with the enemy and rescued his fellow soldiers. He guided his injured team sergeant, Scott Ford, down the mountain to safety. When Matt noticed two combatants moving toward a group of the badly wounded, he immediately engaged the enemy fighters and killed them both. But Matt was not dead yet. In order to rejoin the battle on the mountain, he and Sergeant Seth Howard scaled a sheer cliff, completely exposed to attack. Matt quickly re-engaged the adversary and shielded the injured from falling rubble as American warplanes bombed insurgent positions above and rocked the mountain from top to bottom. He then helped evacuate the wounded down a very, very steep cliff as the terrorists continued to try to overrun their position 
Matt raced back into battle. He fought for several more hours. Valiant. Thank you, Matt Williams. And I want to let's look at this gentleman right here. You know, with what you just heard from the president, this man is a true hero. Yes. This is what it takes nowadays. Cajones of steel. That's what the United States is about. That's what the U.S. of A is about. That's why America is strong. America is number one. And thanks to President Trump, America is great again. Whether you like it or not, we are back on top again. It's taken a long time. It's going to be hard to stay there with the Democrats trying to knock the scaffolding out, take off the president's legs every time he makes a move. We need to stick by this gentleman. We need to stick by this hero in front of you. And whether you believe in war, whether you believe in whatever you believe in, these men and women that join the service are doing a job. They are doing a duty that most people would be too damn chicken. And they'd crap their panolis before they would take one step in boots to do what these men and women do. So before you get up and you protest or you act all, all this and that over the Army, the Navy, the Special Forces, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, etc., you thank those men and women, and you thank your lucky stars. You're where you're at. While they're having wars all over the place, the United States has not yet been attacked and invaded and overran with a bunch of imbecilic idiots who are trying to push their evil beliefs and ways on us American citizens. And I stand here proud looking at this gentleman. And you should thank, again, double thank your lucky stars that we have people like this. So with that being said, I'm going to just give one more thank you to Master Sergeant Matthew Williams receiving the Congressional Medal of Honor today from the greatest president ever, Donald Trump. And I wish him the best of luck in 2020. At this point, there is no other man or woman out there who will make and keep America great. And that thinks for you and I, you and I, to have benefits. You and I, to be able to put food on the table. You know, this hypocrisy and this crying and boohooing over somebody who lost... Everybody needs to get over it. In any sport, think about this. Baseball, football, you name it. College, junior high, elementary, anything. There's winners and losers. You play the game. You lose. I coached. You get up, you shake the other team's hand. You know, you you respect them. They won. At the end of the day. Now with the other party. When they lost this time. They couldn't have. The decency. To. Shake the winner's hand. To concede. That they had. Their butts kicked and lost. And that's part of the big problem. So before whether you're. Left, right, red, blue, pink. Orange, gray, whatever. You think about where America is today and how lucky we are. More jobs are coming back to America. Like I said, the battle's not over. We were pretty drugged down by the last few presidencies and this mamby-pamby giving away our monies to the other countries, giving away our jobs. And if we don't stop what they're trying to do right now in this invasion at the border, it's an invasion when you're getting 100,000 plus people a month 
into a country, that's an invasion. We need to head it off, stop it, whether it's a wall or it's just some new rules of engagement. And with that being said, like me or not, healthcare sucks. Over and out. And I do love y'all. And I think about it. And I just gave you some encouragement, some truth here. So that you can go on another day in America and be free. Because I'm telling you right now, I've seen it firsthand. If you're not as free as we are right now, you're done. And we're losing our freedoms right now. That's the other thing people don't understand. And when you vote and you take away anything, you don't get it back. Again, seatbelts don't get a choice. Lots of other things in life we all know. So with that, love y'all. And one more time, healthcare sucks. Over and out.